Greetings everybody and welcome back to Airport CEO. So, last time we have built this small regional airport with a small runway, a couple of aircraft stands, F-gas refueling service and a small basic rudimentary terminal. We had only a couple of uh, bathrooms, check-in area, security area, or security checkpoints, and the gates here. And we have two commercial flights already, parking here waiting for uh, boarding and departure. And later we also have one more, Forest Air, that's the only airline that we have contracts with. So I'm going to get another one. Basically we have these three stands here for commercial use. And I don't think there's much difference between these airlines. And let's go with Fly Penguin. So sign it. Hopefully we have many more offered flights here for this day. So these stands don't have to stand around <laughs> empty. And we also have a couple of GA flights here going on. Maybe later I'm going to expand it. And let's see what we have to do in this episode. Yeah, these are done R&D. Turn around, five commercial flights and then later emergency response, fire truck. Okay. Also remember then that we have to plan out a baggage area for later, for baggage handling. So maybe I'm thinking I'm going to build a small extension somewhere here. I will see. And later we also get to build a medium runway. But I don't have money to buy this one, so maybe I'm going to build it somewhere here. A couple more stands, medium stands here. Gates, expand this. Terminal building, or maybe build a second one here. And we'll see. So, in the meantime, let's see how the R&D is going. 83% night flights. Two ladies are working on it. I also repaired this uh, runway and the stands. Over time they get some wear and tear. We have to manually um, repair them until we have uh, completed the research project maintenance. And looks like passengers are boarding already. We got a couple of, uh, or a little bit of income from that. And looks like both flights are boarding simultaneously. Maybe I'm going to build a another seating area right around here. Or something like that. And trash can. No littering at this airport. And we can also move them around later. Also build a <laughs> couple of vending machines here for passengers. And looks like these guys are taxing to the runway. Alright, it's going for going to airport, Germany. Well, let's follow it. Also have a looks like a piper departing. And we got some more offered flights. Cherbourg to Budapest. Take your chances. Cessna 2A. So let's get it. We can schedule it for 11 or 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, <laughs> can talk. And here we go, nice. And we are down to 1 million euros, <laughs> we have spent all this. And actually, I did have a little bit of income. But most of the costs are construction costs, so later we are getting also a little bit of income from these commercial flights. Also have just a basic <laughs> force of uh, construction workers, so I don't have to pay them that much just for standing around. And who's this guy? From Croatia. 
But yeah, basic rudimentary airport and we got a sub 340 arriving. Nice. Okay, R&D project. Next is the um, emergency response. Almost done with this one. And people are arriving. <laughs> These cars remind me of uh, the old school Grand Theft Auto games. Top down view. <laughs> Paid. I played them as a kid. Back in those days. And passengers are arriving. Yeah, they are going for the security exit. No baggage claim yet. And this guy is taking a nap. Is there a shuttle coming? Yeah, there it is. Actually, this game is just really well put together. The designers... Uh, had a decent understanding of aviation, well actually more than decent. No, what I don't know about this game, there are no Z levels. So there is just the... How we can just basically build everything on one floor, there's no upstairs, downstairs. And we got one more flight from Goose Air, another sub 340, but not a Goose Air, Forest Air. Let's go like this. We have to maintain a little bit of flight separation. And that's the third flight to turn around. Two more is incoming, so with these two, when they are done, then we get to move on to the next objective. Uh, project completed. Nice. So. We have to do the emergency response unit, that's it. Minimum three administrators, yeah. So we have to hire one more. Applicants and administrator Alexander Bauer, or maybe Javier Rojas. Well, let's go with the hitman. Is from Klagenfurt, Österreich. Okay, let's go. Didn't seem that competent in the skill level, but we are going to go with that guy. And should arrive momentarily. In the meantime, check out if we can put him to work already. Yep. Well, maybe he's already there. No, nope. still incoming. But anyway, he's working from home, home office. And we got another one, Flight Penguin, nineteen hundred D from Page. You come here. And we can also schedule night flights in the meantime. And there he is. Get to work, man. And let's check out. Later we can establish project groups. If we have more staff, then we can research simultaneously. These projects are completed. And right now there's not much to do, maybe expand this terminal a little bit. I'm thinking I'm going to get the baggage handling somewhere here. A little annex. I guess we'll see. Take your chances, I'm going for Slovakia. GA flight. And one way condition down to 97%.
So, everything is in order. People can sit down. Oh, what happened here? Do we have um, janitors or maybe I have, I have to hire a couple of those? Staff happiness, 70%. Let's see, let's get a couple of um, that service technician, strategy director, service technician, security, are there any janitors? Oh, there are a couple of these guys, Caitlin, and also Edith Kalamendi from Albania. Or Kalmandi. Okay, two of those ladies. And 340, departing 1230. Yep. Engine start and taxi to the runway. Also, beacon lights are already on. Nav lights. And we got 2500 euros from that guy and what's this 208 caravan caravan nice fly penguin yeah that's another one of those commercial flights and what's this guy doing oh I don't think they, c they can um, walk here so let's see what we can do about it The heat map walkable area. Yeah, they can't uh, walk right there. So maybe we can build a. Oop, not that. Sidewalk. Go like this. And also door. And they can come in here, hopefully. Maybe I have to designate this area as well. For walking. And we got a little bit of money incoming. Nice. So, construction material, <laughs> they're just uh, throwing it out. It's not fragile, <laughs> hopefully. And any more flights to be scheduled? No, not yet. Yeah, still learning this game. Also, it's uh, it has a little bit of uh, learning curve, especially when, later on when it gets more complicated. I still haven't got my hands on Sim Airport. But it's also looking quite nice. And there's also another uh, airport sim on Steam in early access. I don't recall the name right now. But that one is in 3D. Also looks actually quite well put together. Can't leave the zone. Security exit is accessible. Okay, now we have to designate. Okay, why is it why is it not uh, reachable for this guy? And maybe I have to reload the game. Should be walkable right there. Oops. Okay, I'm going to save it and then reload it and we'll see what will happen. Okay, 
this lady is still there. Maybe later it's going to disappear. It's the ramp agent. Let's see if they can... Yeah, they can just board without issues. And we get a 1900D. Nice. So how, how is the research project going? Okay, so let's deal with this. Can't leave a secure zone. Make sure that security exit is accessible to walls and zones. So let's see. Oh, this one is secure here. So it's going to undo it. <laughs> just fell fell asleep here. Okay. Secure zone, staff zone, international. And object is not functional. Why? Security checkpoint not connected. Secure zone two. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to cancel this stand for commercial use and build another one here and put it back to GA. Although, let's just play around with um, zones for a while. Passenger access, secure zone. Okay, so what if I do this? Also here. Because these guys have um, boarding passes or they are departing. Or actually they are arriving, departing from this airport. And they can theoretically walk to secure areas. Okay, that's that seemed to have done it. Cool. Now, how are we looking here? Turn around, another five commercial flights. Yep, we can schedule here, fly Penguin. Another Cess uh, Cessna 208 to Sweden. That's quite far away. Okay, confirm. And do we have forest there? Oh, not, not yet. And also, Satisfaction. It's going up slowly. Fly Penguin is a little bit lower. We signed the contract with them later than Forest Air. And now we can see some wear and tear here on the runway after one day of usage. It's down to 91%. I'm going to repair it later. So, yeah, sometimes with these zones, can be a little bit confusing 
So I have to remember to designate zones. So when I build new stuff, it's not that intuitive right now. Oops, room overlay. Don't want that. But yeah. So turn around another five. It's going to speed it up. And we got a little bit of money, up to one million one thousand or one million one hundred thousand. Ooh, we got one million as a bonus. Nice. Okay, you have been selected the Department of Infrastructure and Transportation as the winner of Aviation Transportation Award. Nice. Thanks for that and. Sometimes things go wrong and you need to be prepared to handle difficult situations. Bird strikes, emergency landings and medical emergencies are rare, but do happen. It's time to build the infrastru <laughs> infrastructure to take care of these events. Ok, complete the RD project emergency response unit. I already have that going on. Whoa. I'm going to hire another one of those administrators. If there is a good one, yeah, you can come work for me and put her to work right away. And I think with this flight, it should be. Well, actually, we already done with the Fly of GA aircraft. And it's just a short flight to Page Pogan Airport. Fly Penguin, <laughs> nice. There was also a workshop content here on Steam. I thought that was a <laughs> warning message. Just wearing red. But yeah, there are workshop mods for this game with realistic airlines and also a lot of user created content. Yeah, that's the email, it's going to archive, <laughs> save it for later. And a couple of flights to be scheduled, another one. Also to Sweden. You can schedule it here for our night flights. And let's see. It's going slowly. So, it's going to end it right here. We're actually doing quite well. So, in the next episode, I'm going to return when we have completed that project and we are going to build that infra infrastructure. I'm just going to keep scheduling flights in the meantime. Oh, two more to go. Now we can schedule it here. And for Thursday, oops, oh yeah. These flights, I can see it hopefully here. So uh, I think it's three flights reoccurring or just one time. Yeah, we can see it right here. It's going to be three times, so well, let's see how is it looking for our next day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so these flights are reoccurring and we have to keep an eye on this flight planner as well, or you can just put it to automatic scheduling, but I like to keep my eye on that one. So that's it for this episode, <laughs> I've been dicking around with this zone and stuff. But hopefully I'm going to remember that for the next couple of videos and I'll see you in a short while, hopefully soon. Take care.